Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God. I got a message for the, the lukewarm Christians. I want to give you a warning from the Lord. How long halt ye between two opinions? If God be God, if the Lord be God, then follow him. But of Baal, if Satan be God, then follow him. But you can't follow both. You can't serve both at the same time. If Jesus is the Lord that you truly serve with your whole heart, then you ought to obey what he have commanded you to do. You ought to live the way he have commanded you to live. Jesus said in Luke 6, 46, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things in which I say? Jesus said, why you keep calling him Lord? Why are you professing to, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? Why are you professing that, you, that he is your Lord, that he is your king, but you don't want to do what he tell you to do? The Bible says in Matthew 6, 24, that we can't serve two masters. Either you're going to love one and hate the other one, or you're going to hold to the one and despise the other. You're either going to obey one master and disobey the other one. You're either going to love one master and hate the other one. So either you're going to love Jesus Christ or hate Satan. Or either you're going to love Satan and hate Jesus Christ. But you can't serve both. Either you're going to live holy or you're going to continue to live in sin. Continue to live in unrighteousness. The Bible says that all unrighteousness is sin. How long will you keep straddling the fence? How long will you keep being a hypocrite? How long will you keep being a lukewarm Christian? Revelation 3, verse 15 and 16. The Lord said, I know thy works, that thou art neither hot or cold. I would that thou wert either hot or cold. I wish that you would choose a side so then because thou art lukewarm. Because thou art neither hot nor cold, but because, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth, saith the Lord. The Lord said, I know what you're doing. I know your works. I'm watching everything that you're doing. He said, I wish that you was either hot or cold. I wish that you would choose a side. Choose if you're going to serve me or you're going to serve the devil with your whole heart. He said, so then, because you can't seem to choose a side, because you lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, he said, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. Why? Because it make him sick to his stomach when you're living in lukewarmness, when you're professing to be a child of God, but you keep living in sin, keep giving it to temptation, keep uh, feeling the desires of your flesh, you keep yielding to the flesh, and you're not crucifying that flesh. But you crucifying Jesus Christ afresh. Hebrews chapter 6 says that when you sin willfully, you crucify the Lord afresh and you put him to an open shame. So the Lord got somewhat against thee, lukewarm Christians, professing yourself to be wise, sharing scriptures on social media, making videos, but you're not practicing what you preach. The Lord have somewhat against thee and your time is running out because you keep giving heed to the Lucifer's lies. I guess in your heart you believe in once saved, always saved. When the Bible tells us in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 23, God said, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Saith the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness, and committeth iniquity, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live. All his righteousness that he had done shall not be mentioned. And his trespass that he had trespassed. And in his sin that he had sinned in them shall he die. The Lord said, do I have any pleasure that the wicked should die? But not rather that he would turn away from his wicked ways and so that he can live. The Lord said, when the righteous man turn away from his righteousness and commit iniquity. And he die in this iniquity because of his sins that he have died. So once saved, always saved is a lie from the pits of hell. The Lord said the righteous deeds that he have done shall not be mentioned. He won't even remember the good deeds that you have done. Yeah, when you chose to come to repentance, when you chose to ask the Lord to forgive you, and he do this for you, and you run back to the same thing, you turn away from righteousness. The Lord said the, the, the times that you asked him for forgiveness, when you went down to that altar, 
He said he don't remember that junk no more. It don't mean nothing to him anymore because you chose to turn away. The Bible says in the book of 2 Peter chapter 2, if after you have escaped the pollutions of the world and again entangled therein, and you turn away from the holy commandment delivered unto you, it was better for you not to have known the way of righteousness than after you have known it, you turn away from the holy commandment delivered unto you. The Bible says it's better for you not to have known the, right, the way of righteousness than after Jesus had pulled you out of the pollutions of the world and you go back to doing the same stuff that Jesus had delivered you from. It was better for you not to have known this way at all. The Bible says, but this comes to pass as the true proverb, a dog returned back to his own vomit. The Lord say, you just like a dog that have returned back to his own vomit when you decide to backslide. Disgusting in the sight of God. How long halt ye between two opinions? How long you'll keep proclaiming to be a child of God but living like a child of the devil? The Bible say that we can't sit at the Lord's table and the table of the devil. We can't drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devil. You got to choose ye this day who you go serve. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, then choose who you go serve this day. Because your time is running out, lukewarm Christian. Your time is running out. Stop giving into temptation that the devil keep lying to you. He keep deceiving you. Go ahead and do it. You got time to repent. Go ahead and do it. Just ask the Lord to forgive you. You know he'll forgive you. Stop giving heed to Lucifer lies. Because sooner or later, death is going to catch you. The wages of sin is death. Sooner or later, death is going to catch you. And the Bible say in Hebrews 9.27, it's appointed unto man wants to die. But after this, the judgment. And when you die, you're going to stand before a holy and a righteous God. And he's going to judge you according to the fruit of your doings. He's going to judge you according to the life you live here on this earth. We can't claim to be Christians but live like a child of the devil. When the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 that he that commits sin is of the devil. The devil has been sinning since the beginning. And for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil in our lives. And by this we know who is the child of God and the child of the devil. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. But he that committed sin is a child of the devil. You can't keep yielding yourself service to obey sin. You need to yield yourself service to obey righteousness. Because the Bible said whoever Jesus said in John chapter 8, he that commits sin is a servant of sin, and that servant shall not abide in the house forever. You got to choose the day who you go serve. God is giving you time to repent if you're still breathing. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that if you confess and forsake your sins, then you will receive mercy. But if you keep trying to hide your sins, you will not prosper in none of your ways, saith the Lord. You got to repent. Repent with your whole heart and forsake your wicked ways. Because if you don't, if God wants to, he can kill you because the Lord is a consuming fire. The Lord can kill you while you're in the act of your sin if he chooses to. Who to say the Lord will repent of his, his ways? Who, who say the Lord will repent of having mercy on you? You don't know if God is going to choose to keep letting you live. He even said, if I lay a stumbling block before them in Ezekiel chapter 3. Why well, lay a stumbling block before them and they die and they sin? It's because of their sins that they die. The Lord will lay a stumbling block before you and let you die in your sins. That's why people die in their sins today. Because God took his grace and mercy out for their life. He laid a stumbling block before them because he told us that the wages of sin is dead. Don't keep abusing God's grace. Don't keep feeling like God is love. God is love. So he's going to let you proceed in your sins. The Bible say, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that also shall he reap. It's only so long that God will let you keep mocking him before he let you reap corruption. He that sowed to the flesh will reap corruption. Revelation 3.19, God said, as many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent, saith the Lord. People are not coming to true repentance. You keep sinning willfully, then you asking the Lord to forgive you, but you keep sinning willfully again, and this is a continual process in your life. How long halt ye between two opinions? How long do you think you can keep doing this before you die? What is your life? Your life is like a vapor. That appeared for a little while and then vanisheth away. That is what your life is. It appeared for a little while and then it vanisheth away. James 4, 17 say he didn't know what to do good and do it did not. To him it is a sin. So it's dangerous that you know better 
But you're choosing not to do better because you keep giving it to the temptation of your flesh. You're not fasting. You're not praying. You're not worshiping. You're not reading. And you keep giving it to temptation. And this temptation is going to kill you if you don't repent. That's why Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, I tell you nay, except ye all repent, ye all shall likewise perish. The Lord said if you don't repent, you're going to perish. He told the Pharisees, I tell you of a truth, you shall die in your sins. If you don't believe, then you will perish in your sins, saith the Lord. How long you'll keep playing around with God? How long you'll keep playing Russian roulette with your life? Professing yourself to be wise, you becoming a fool. Because you're being wise in your own eyes and prudent in your own sight. You keep feeling like, I got time to repent. You keep making these excuses to justify your sins. And then you want to hop on social media and preach the word of God when you're not practicing what you preach. You want to tell people that you're a servant of Jesus when you're not really following him with your whole heart. You want to dress nice and go to church and leave church and live in rebellion, live in disobedient to the word of God. Professing yourself to be wise, you have became a fool. And that's so dangerous. Seek the Lord now while he may be found. Turn to the Lord with all your heart through fast and weeping and mourning. And God will have mercy on you. And he will forgive you for your sins. You need to repent. Now ain't the time to play Russian roulette with your life. Now ain't the time to put a bullet in a chamber and spin it. And put it to your head and keep pulling the trigger. It ain't the time to play around. Because there are things coming on the horizon. Flee from the wrath to come. Abide in the Lord Jesus Christ. And get covered with the blood of Jesus. Your time is running out. Repent. And turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says in Romans 6. Whoever you yield yourself service to obey. His service you are to whom you obey. If you obey in Jesus Christ. Or you obey in the devil. And if you keep obeying the devil. Living like a child of Satan. Professing yourself to be a Christian. You will reap the same fate as Lucifer. And we know where he going. Revelation 20.10. He will be thrown in the lake of fire. Where he will be tormented day and night for all eternity. And if you keep obeying him. And keep living as a child of the devil. That's where you're going to go. You're going to be cast away from the presence of the Lord. The Bible says Jesus coming back as the Lion of Judah. To bring vengeance on them that know not God. That chose not to obey his word. Start reading the word of God. You can't live. You can't be conformed to this world. And still be a child of God. Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 3 and 4. That Satan is the God of this world. The Bible say all that's in the world in the book of 1 John, all that's in the world, the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life is not of the, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And this world is going to pass away and everything in it. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. Your time is running out. You have been warned. My hands are clean. No blood on my hands. God bless you. Holiness is still right. Repent. Shalom.